Hello everyone and welcome back to the Boohoo Review. Today I'm going to be ranking every Sonic Screwdriver and I haven't worn this for a while so I thought I'd get it out for this video. I'm wearing a Doctor hoodie that says keep calm and call the doctor. So I'm all ready for the video so let's begin the ranking. Great, so at number 14 we have the second Doctor's Screwdriver. Now this one I don't like at all really. It's very boring, very basic and bland. I mean, you you have got to give it credit, it was the first ever Sonic Screwdriver and it was when the budget was quite low. So I wouldn't ever expect anything like amazing and super, you know, expensively made and high tech and everything. It was the second Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver and it was the first screwdriver. Probably back then, well, I know back then it wasn't as important as it is now to Doctor Who. So I can understand why, but yeah, this one I don't really like. It's very boring, very basic. So that's why I put it at number 14. It just It's just not a nice Sonic, to be honest. And at number 13, we have the War Doctor Sonic. This one, again, I really don't like. What I don't like about it the most is the top of it, the small red light. It just looks really stupid and silly. I don't like it at all. And this time, there isn't an excuse of budget, because although it was just like a one-off screwdriver, it was part of the 50th anniversary, so they should have had a reasonable budget for that. But yeah, I know it was based on a classic Sonic, but I don't like the little red light at the top. It just makes it look really silly. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this one at all. So at number 13, it will be the War Doctor Sonic. And at number 12, we have the Sonic Glance. This one, I'm not a fan of too much either. It's a nice change. It's nice to have something different, but if you look closely, it does look cheap and a bit boring. I mean, it's only got a few buttons. So it is a nice change and it's a couple of nice colours. I like the red and the blue and everything. So it is nice, but it isn't the best. So yeah, at number 12 will be the Sonic Lance. And at number 11 we have the 5th Doctor Sonic. Now this one I don't mind too much, but it is just basically the 4th Doctor Sonic with a white strip around it. So I can't really rank this any higher than the others. I mean, it is nice, but really you've got to give credit to the 4th Doctor Sonic if you like this one, because the 4th Doctor Sonic came first, so really, yeah, I can't really rank it. The white line is nice, but it's nothing special, and it doesn't warrant it going any higher in the list. So yeah, at number 11 with the 5th Doctor Sonic. And at number 10 we have River Sonic. Now, this one is a bit of a difficult one. I mean, at the time, I could understand why they did it. It's like the 10th Doctor were different, but the thing is... If you think about it, it doesn't really make sense how she got this Sonic because it was the 12th Doctor that gave it to her. Although the 12th Doctor knew she was going to meet the 10th Doctor, it just feels really weird now thinking that the 12th Doctor gave her Sonic based so much on the 10th Doctor Sonic. It just feels really weird and I don't like the bulkiness of it and the colour either. I'm not really a big fan of this one. I haven't really ever been a fan of it. So yeah, I'm going to have to put this one here because yeah, I, it's alright but... It's nothing special and I'm not really a fan of it. And at number 9 we have the Sonic Glasses. This one I never liked at first. I wasn't a fan of it back in the day when it first came out. Especially because it was, seemed to be replacing the Sonic Screwdriver. I don't think we should ever replace the Sonic Screwdriver. Especially with something like Sonic Glasses. It just felt a bit, bit silly really. But the fact that it didn't replace the Sonic Screwdriver has meant that I like it a bit more now. I mean it is quite cool how the 12th Doctor uses it. And it is quite, you know, sort of convenient as well sometimes, just having it on your face and scanning it. And it does make sense as well, because you can literally see what the information is that he's getting. So, yeah, I do like this one a lot more than I did at first, but I still think it should never be a replacement for the Sonic. And really, they are just glasses that make a sound effect. So, yeah, it's good, but not the best. At number eight, we have the Dark Eye Sonic Screwdriver. This one, I'm half in half out with in a way i really like the crystal on top i think that's really cool but i'm on the fence with the colors i'm not too sure about them half of me actually likes the sonic and half of me doesn't so i found it quite difficult to rank this one but it is nice and it is like i like how the crystal is and it's a bit different to other sonic screwdrivers so it's good but i'm still not 100 percent on this one at number seven we have the fourth doctor sonic like I said earlier with the 5th Doctor Sonic, it is good. I like this one. It's simple, it's basic, but it still looks good. And it's good considering the budget of the time as well. So yeah, I do like this Sonic and I do think this is a fairly good one to be honest. So yeah, I quite like this one. So yeah, at number 7, I'll definitely put this one. And at number 6, we have the 3rd Doctor Sonic. I do like this one. It is good again, especially with the budget. But I don't like the yellow and black strips around it. I feel like it makes it look really cheap and nowadays outdated as well, more than others. But it is nice, I like the top of it, but I don't know, it still it does look a bit cheap and outdated. And yeah, so I'm not really a fan of that bit, but apart from that bit on the Sonic, I do actually really like it. So that's why I put it second in terms of classic Sonics in my ranking. 
And at number five, we have the 12th Doctor Sonic. I do like this one. I like how the colour matches the TARDIS quite well. The exterior is really cool, that. But I do feel like it does look a bit like a toy. And I feel like they probably, I don't know, but I feel like they probably made it look like that deliberately to sell merchandise. I'm not too sure on this one. I feel like we didn't get enough time to see it, really. We only got to see it in Series 10. I know he did get it at the end of Series 9 and we got to see it in a couple of Christmas specials, but we didn't really get that much time with it considering how long we've had other Sonic Screwdrivers. It is nice, the colours. I do like the blue. Blue is my favourite colour, but I don't know. It looks a bit like a toy sometimes. And also I feel like the light as well, the light strip is a bit too long on the Sonic. It takes up about half the Sonic. And I feel like the Sonic is quite long in itself. So it's nice, but not the best. And at number four, we have the eighth Doctor Sonic from the TV movie. This one I do like. It does look a lot like the classic Sonics as well, which is just comes to show how well the, the Sonics from the 70s were made. So I do really like this one. And this one looks like a proper Doctor's equipment, which I feel like really matches well with his name, obviously the Doctor. So yeah, I really like this one actually. So yeah, that's why I put it at number four. At number three, we have the 13th Doctor Sonic. Now this one can be a bit, not controversial, but you either like or you don't like it. And I feel like a lot of people don't like it, which is fair, I suppose. I mean, the shape of it does open it up for mockery. I mean, when I first saw the Sonic Screwdriver, I never thought, oh my gosh, you know, what everybody else thought. But when people point out, you can sort of tell, which is a bit, you know, a bit annoying. Obviously, they never made it with that in mind, but it is a bit annoying. But putting that aside... I do really like how she made it herself, that makes it really unique, and also the curve as well in the Sonic Screwdriver, that makes it unique as well, and I like the silver, and I like the shape of it all, the curve, so yeah, I do like this Sonic, but if it wasn't, if it was made just slightly differently, then I think it'd be a lot better, and it wouldn't be open for mockery, but no, I do really like this one actually. And at number two, we have the ninth and 10th Doctor Sonic. Now this one is fairly iconic, and is full of nostalgia, but if you put that aside, it is still a really cool Sonic Screwdriver, I like the blue light, I like how slim it is and I like how it extends as well. I think this was the first Sonic Screwdriver to be able to extend as well. So yeah, it was really, it's really cool. But yeah, I do like this one. It is good. Upon reflection, it probably isn't like as good now we've had other Sonic Screwdrivers. But at the time, it was really good. And it is still a really good Sonic Screwdriver. That's why I put it at number two. Great. And at number one, we of course have the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. This one's really cool as well. I really like how this one extends, how it goes really long and then how it springs out of the top as well. I think that's really cool. Also, if you have the Sonic Screwdriver's kid when it was a toy, that was so cool to have the way it springs out and the lights and everything. I feel like the green goes really well as well. And I feel like it really matched matched Matt Smith's interior for the first the, his first interior. I feel like it really matched that well. So that was really cool. So yeah, this one at number one, definitely. Great, and that's all the Sonic Screwdrivers ranked. Please let me know what your ranks are in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully see you in my next video soon. Alright, thank you everyone. Take care. Bye.